what is leukemia? In the past, it's been called a disorder of the blood, but essentially it is blood cancer, and we mustn't forget that fact. It can hit all types of people, from childhood leukemia to much, much older people as well. I was 32 when I was, I was diagnosed, and there are varying levels of treatment. There are over 100 different types of leukemia and blood cancer, um, and, and, and we're in it to beat them all, really. I didn't even know that it was cancer that I had. I felt that, you know, blood cancers and leukaemias, they're in your blood, how do you cut them out? So um, they felt like a bit of a death sentence, really. Well, what I didn't realise, there were different types of leukaemia. Um, that there were what they call indolent or chronic and acute leukaemias. And I don't think it's fortunate to be diagnosed with any kind of leukaemia or cancer, but from my point of view, I was diagnosed with a chronic leukaemia, which means it's slow growing. Um, symptoms are there, but practice is not to treat it until it needs treating. Um, that was quite hard to deal with. Knowing what it was, I might have heard of it a bit more and understood it, and it wouldn't have been so scary. Frightening. Very, very frightening to... I was 35 at the time and I thought my life was just starting in, you know, jobs and work and marriage and everything else but I thought it was ending at that point and it's, yeah it's you know when you're told you've got leukaemia you just think the worst. To me a leukaemia was emergency screaming ad dabs you know let's get this sorted end of life possibly. A year and a half I was experiencing creeping symptoms that came on and I thought that was just part of getting older. I think if I'd have known a bit more about leukaemia when I was having the infections, it might have helped that I would have been diagnosed earlier than I was, um, and then I maybe not have had quite such a fatigue and tiredness and the infections. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we managed to reduce the amount of um, patients who present as emergencies? Because the one thing we are learning, everybody knows, um, now is that early diagnosis of a cancer improves survival, improves the outcome of that patient and improves the quality of their life. To be aware of your body and to be aware of these particular signs that we're talking about and, and spotting these particular signs is absolutely vital because it might not just be one, it might be one or two or three little bits and pieces and it's like a jigsaw and you have to put it together yourself and don't be afraid to go to the doctor because ultimately they're going to thank you because the the alternative is unthinkable.